All right, so we gotta go hunt for clues. Scooby Doo! Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, here we go! It's a Mosasaur this time. Oh, that sounds so cool. So hello, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode on the channel of our Jurassic World Evolution 2. Let's go. So we've waited three years since Evolution came out, and we have not had a single Jurassic Park or Jurassic franchise game come out until today. I want to say thank you to Frontier for allowing me early access to sort of get, jump on and get a little little bit of head start on content because it's all a race with us YouTubers to pump it all out. So here it is, the main menu. We have campaign, we have challenge mode, sandbox, and chaos theory. But you already knew that, didn't you? Um, but what I thought would be interesting is to look at the database. Um, and as you can see here, it is a hundred and twelve dinosaurs. And we have five at the moment, but... There is not 112, and it, those of you who have been keeping up to date with the news was this 107, but there's even more. But actually, there is 84 species of dinosaur in the game at launch, or at least this is what I see. I don't know. I'm getting this a little bit earlier than uh, when it's released, just so I can create content for it. Um, so if you have a quick scan through, you've got the classics. You've got Acrocanthosaurus, Albertosaur, Allo, Amargosaur, Ankylosaur, Apatosaur. Uh, Archaeonothomimus, Attenborosaurus, Baryonyx, Brachiosaurus, Camarasaurus, Cocorodontosaurus, Carnotaurus. So it's A to Z, basically. I don't know what that is, but it's a C. Um, Ceratosaurus, Camarasaurus, or Chasmosaurus, sorry. Um, Chungabunga, that one. Cediophysis, Compsognathus, Corythosaur, Critonosaurus, Cryolophosaur, being a new one. Danonychus, Dilophosaur, Demetrodon, Diplodocus, Draco Rex, Dreadnoughtus, I'd assume. Dryosaur, and Montosaur, Elasmosaurus, I'm thinking. Uh, Eupocephalus, Gallimimus. Um, don't know what that is. It uh, obviously begins with a G because right after it is Giga. Now, we know that Giga appears in the next movie, but I thought it would be different. It would look different. Um, and I love the music. Oh, the music is so good. Uh, Giga Spinosaur. Um, not too sure what that is. Herarosaurus, maybe. Uh, Homalocephale, Kendrosaur, uh, Ichthyosaurus, Iguanodon, Indominus, uh, oh, sorry, Indominus Rex, Indoraptor. So, don't know what that one is. Liplorodon. Kobold something or other, Myosaur, Majungasaur, Mementosaur. Uh, again, don't know what that one is. Or oh, these two. Maybe that's a Metrocanthosaurus. It must be a Metrocanthosaurus. Mosasaur, Motoborosaurus, Nozudoceratops, Nigerosaurus, uh, Nodosaurus, L Lambiosaurus, or Oranosaur, Pachycephalosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus in the game. That's quite cool. Parasaurolophus, Pentaceratops, Plesiosaur, uh, Polacanthus, uh, Monolophosaurus, Pteranodon, uh, Changiosaurus, I think it is. Uh, don't know what that one is. Sinoceratops, Spinosaur. Oh, I can't wait to see that in the, in the game. Stegosaur, Struthiomimus, uh, Stigimolox, Styracosaurus, Sucomimus, Tapijarosaurus, I think. Uh, and another one, maybe Taurosaur. Uh, then Triceratops, Troodon, or Troodon, which is actually, I don't think it's even a real dinosaur anymore, but it's here. And then what I assume must be a Tylosaur, because it's in with the T's, with T-Rex, and Synsatosaurus, that's it. And finally, Raptor, and that finishes the dinosaur roster that we know. Maybe the secrets will unlock on the way, but I kind of uh, just want to get into it. So we're probably going to run maybe two or three series as, as side by side. I don't know. Maybe we'll do old campaign, then we'll go through all chaos theory. How little you know? Fitting that we start with the campaign. So here we go. Ooh, Jurassic World. Exciting. This, this is where our story. Oh, sing to me, Jeff. Scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. Oh, that looks good. That's a thumbnail. So nature did what it does and unleashed things. This time, we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos. But something much worse. Head injuries. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. I can't wait. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind... Fallen Kingdom! ...was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. 
perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. Gah! <laughs> it's like a crew. A cycle with one goal, survival. Oh, can you imagine this came out with the movie? This <gasps> means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. How did we get from like three Triceratops escape from Lockwood Manor to 20? <laughs> How did that happen? I love it. I love it. Though. I love it. I love it. I love it. Arizona. Okay, I'll make a couple of changes. Um, even Nedry knew not to mess with the rap defenses. Uh, so subtitles will come on. I'll probably change the sound a little bit because it's the music's a bit too high to hear beautiful Jeff's voice. <laughs> and we need to hear it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I'm expecting this one. And I, th I think I might have played this actually when um we it was like... When we did the sessions, practice sessions, uh, to record, to on the us, second one we had to do this one. desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge. Well, those who think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. Fingers crossed, Jeff. I'm to embrace Fingers the crossed. Uncertainty. Here we are in Arizona, the place we always wanted to be. <laughs> Actually, maybe this is where Camp Cretaceous will take place. Okay, hold on. Let me just change the sentence. Yes, the I did it. Production is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, assistant director of the to US the regional Department manager. Of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. You work for me now. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. Ooh. And this is Owen. He works with Velociraptors. Is it really Owen, though? You can call me a dinosaur wrangler. No. Though, officially, I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. Oh! So we'll need to get a few things Oh, in place guys! Start with the response facility. Equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4. And a Capture Team helicopter. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, this is gonna be so sweet. I can't believe we're playing it. Yes! We waited so long, so many years. Uh, now we need a power. Oh, it's okay. So tell us where progress, to put it. So let's stay focused. Next step: building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the path network. It only does as good if it's operational. Right. So I'm assuming that when we do the campaign and when we do maybe Chaos Theory, we unlock dinosaurs because we only had one dinosaur unlocked and that was Triceratops. So we probably need to do this first. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground. And even more trouble if oh God. Oh. we're lucky enough to find it. <laughs> Whoops. Then the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can track it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Wait, what are we after? Oh, the baryonics. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's really easy when he has a huge symbol above his head. <laughs> I have you now. Or maybe I don't. You are really far away. Oop. How about that? Contact negative contact. Don't you negative contact me. Run him over. Get him with the blades. And again. Yes. Claire, this is Owen. I got I achievements. <laughs> we have it. Capture successful. Oh, that's handy. That's you nice. Do it. Oh, that Never wasn't in the builds that I played. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better oh. than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. 
Hey, it's a coming. Always... We, uh, you don't have to answer that. Oh, is that a sandstorm brewing in the distance? Oh, it is. Asset in transit. Oh. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge. Meow. And perhaps <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> when he gets flung about like that. Whoop. Yes. Package the, right, okay, so we need to we need to check on him. Oh, it's still the same sort of things, so that's good. Go check on him. Right, ensure the baronics are safely enclosed. Oh, sorry, open the gate. Close the gate. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. There we go. There we go. No longer a danger. Ooh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kinda hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, <gasps> but we can it certainly died? help this one. Oh, you killed it, Claire. You closed the thing on this snout. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Oh, Hungry look at it. It's four, and the nervous. fences are two. Can't disagree with you there. Right, okay, let's have a look. So it needs rocks, and it wants some fish. So put the fish... Oh, it automatically uh, shows you what you want to do. So some rocks as well. And there you go. More, more. A little bit more rocks. So with this, um, with the chaos theory, I probably won't focus on building a park per se. Because <laughs> we kind of just want to get through the uh, the campaigns and stuff before we like make a park kind of thing. That's that's where it's at. But we'll see. Maybe there probably is a mission that is just make a park. To go on this. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. Do we really need that? Already done it. I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. I've already done it. I don't need any of you. <laughs> Construct well, a ranger post. What we Done. Have islands. We still have to do what <gasps> we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool. How's that sound? Are you seriously asking, or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? <laughs> I like how they're already like a mission behind. <laughs> I've already done it. Well, I've already found the Triceratops as well. Dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. Sounds crazy. I know. I know what I'm doing, doing Owen man. You know what? I'm the game and beef of it. I'm a dinosaur pro. <laughs> I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're huh? not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. Where are we? But only we know that. Well, for now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. And then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Well, go here. And I'm just seeing if it locks on to a certain point. Yeah, if it goes straight, does it lock on? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, okay. And then, of course, now we've got the slow sort of uh, fences here. Isolate triceratops from other dinosaurs and construct a new enclosure. Already done! That's because oh. I've already done this. <laughs> I like that, though. It shows you which dinosaur you've picked up and where it is. Uh, that's definitely something that is an improvement from the other one. 100%. Right, so we'll just quickly construct. We'll speed this up uh, and construct a ranger outpost. Put. Oh, it's already got a gate. Oh, sweet. Right, so we probably need water. I would assume they're a little bit thirsty. Uh, as far as trees, I'd assume maybe ground fiber. I can't really imagine a triceratops wanting tall fiber because it's not a big ground leaf. Maybe ground leaf. Is that what we want? More ground leaf. It's probably going to want other things as well. I'll put in some rocks, because who doesn't like a rock? Delivery has been completed. And then just make sure we can... Oh, God, look at them go. Woo! <laughs> Delivery complete. 
Right, okay, so they've all been put in. Construct a new enclosure, transport them all there. Requires status check. Okay, let's see how you girls do. Are they all female now? I can't remember. <gasps> Look at them. That animation of them hitting each other was beautiful. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've already done it, Claire. Well, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. That's but a nice thing. I'm also concerned, specifically about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Does it need power? I think it might need power. Territory. Yeah, that's this. So this is a completely new thing. Uh, where's the jeep? Oh, you know what I should do is just put like a gate between the two. That's what I should have done. That would have sped it up. Is he going to turn around now? Or is he is he going to... Yeah, he's turning... I think he's turning around. Is it? Is it turning around? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Brick! Did a right angle. Okay, so we're going to... Does it need power? We need to see once it's constructed. Consumes... Oh no, it's already got power. So how far does that go? Apparently, backup generators. Yeah, so backup generators are... They actually perform a pretty decent role of just, you know, when you have a storm and you lose power to your main facility or your main main power station goes out, then they can take over, which is really cool. Okay, so we'll see just how you're doing. So we know it's health okay, but we don't know anything else. And once they're checking with the ranger station, um, we should be good. There we go. So it's missing. Oh, so it needs a little bit more water and a little bit more ground fiber. Uh, ground fiber. But not really that much. And I was I was pretty much there. I just need a little bit more water. Yeah, there we go. Drink, my pretty drink. Uh, ensure the Triceratops have 95%. Ensure the Triceratops are visible from a viewing gallery. Well, they would be if they weren't all the way over there. <laughs> I'll put it on the worst side. Uh, what is Z? Ha ha! Uh... Shoo, we'll put that back there. And then we'll just carry on straight this way. All the way. Almost. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Nobody cares, James. Nobody cares for uh, ge ge geometry and that sort of palaver. How's our Baronex doing? So let's have a look at you. So you, you're a king. Uh, harmless. Infamy level zero. So it has kills. Eaten dinosaurs? Oh no, it's just general kills. A uh, fight record. Fences broken. Scars. With so many of the animals running free. Our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built, and we'll take it from there. Okay. All right. So I wonder how closely this follows um, the events of Dominion. You know, the final Jurassic World movie. Ah, that'll be interesting. So we'll speed that up, because we actually can. Thank you. No more waiting. Beautiful. Recruit a scientist. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Scientists. Oh, find one as rough and tumble as I am. Oh, I think... We get all of them. Oh, no, we can only have two, can't we? Okay, we'll get you. Oh, right, I did it anyway. You see <laughs> oh, this there player? we go. Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Oh. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Right, Owen, okay. you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, Las Vegas. Yeah. Sorry, uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except them. Maybe a new recruit. Okay. That, oh, that's interesting. So, usually with, you know, if we've played Evolution before, before that's where we get fossils, return, but... We should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Oh. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Right, okay. So, I'll probably build this along here. Oh, this electric fence, it needs power. Oh. No, that wasn't straight. Can't have it a little bit wonky. Okay, I think when I played it, it just got up to about this far and then it ended. Uh, and then it started with the, um, the what do you call it? The, the ice level, New York? The ice level, New York, that one. Uh, probably just 
assume that we're going to need to do all this as well. Unless that's it. Live capture four Stegosauruses. Right, they don't go well with Triceratops, if I remember right. Uh, transport them there. Two, three, four. Uh, we'll probably do the same things here. Okay, make them uh, all welcome. Lots of water. Um, they'll probably want ground fiber as well. So, lots of ground. Oh, there they are. In they come. Maybe some rocks? You think a little bit of rock? A little bit of rocks. There you go. Have some. Oh, they randomize as well. That's quite nice. Ooh, I like that. And they can be placed really close to each other. I don't know if rocks could in the first one. Okay. So we need a gate probably. Here's the best bet. Uh, and then one of these. Have that on there. And there we go. But we do need power. So I may as well just place that here. <laughs> At an angle. <laughs> yes. And instead of uh, like your Jeep having to go and fix things, with the generators, you just do it yourself. I think it's probably 300,000. Whoa. Fill up all the way. Mantang ni shite kudasai. Okay. Let's fill her up. <laughs> Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Ooh. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only you said it. Right, okay. That looks so cool. Definitely is the Jurassic World because uh, Stegosaur, because it doesn't have a beak. I think they also have teeth. <laughs> Maybe Stegosaur always had teeth, but I remember this guy uh, is a little bit odd. Oh, wait, did I not? Did I cancel it? Uh, No, go for it. Oh, they're there. You don't need to do that. Actually, we'll take control. Uh, what is it? How do we do this? Aim is R. Right, there we go. Check and stay is beautiful, beautiful. Reverse into the tree. Reverse through the tree. It's got tree physics. Invisible trees. If we go right up to the outpost, are we able to check in with it? Or, I mean, we could probably just, oh God. Yes, that's okay. Right. Check in with all of them. Comfort's not so great with these guys. Oh, I can drive while doing this. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, God. Oh, that sound effect's sweet. I love it. Right, let's see. How happy are you? Probably not. Uh, you need more ground fruit. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Ground fruit. Oh, that has everything. Is that good? I don't see anything going down from it, so... Yeah, there we go. Sorted! Are you happy now? Are you happy? I think you are. I'm trying to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Run! Oh, no! We've... Somebody's dead! <laughs> no, we're all okay. Just uh, mind the thagamizer there, dear. You're, uh, you're a little bit too close. Oh, there's no path. It's P-Path. Oh, they made P path! Can we get a P is freaking path? I can't believe they listened. That okay? Well, this is the best game ever now. <laughs> P is for path. Yes. Right, we'll speed this up because I think all we're waiting for is that constructed, and then we get to see everything because they're all over here now. Ooh, I think I just missed out on some social behavior. Oh, they're, they're, they're admiring their, their great work here on destroying a card door. There Owen. we go. Weather Owen. warning. We have a real problem. Oh, dear. I'm trying, Claire, but it's just... Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Sedate. Tell me Sedate the thing. Know. Where's the baryonics? Sedate him. There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. That is okay. some strong Listen storm. <laughs> we'll if I ever let you down before? Actually, right, so Baronix is rating no. four. And I'm planning on Triceratops rating four. Everything we can do. Stegosaur we'll five? We've survived worse. What's a little sand? Okay, well, we've sedated the uh, Bionix. We're, we're cheat coding it. Oh, here comes the storm. We need the j pop music. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, Triceratops battling each other again. 
And the animation works! It never did for me. Every time I saw like a dinosaur uh, thingy, it never worked. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll pick up and drop the Baronix over there. By the time it's dropped, hopefully, the sandstorm will be over. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel. I think they're fine. Yes, it's having a sand bath. I mean, <laughs> that goes without saying. Oh, I'm look at it. Anyway. It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So, how do we avoid that? How does this helicopter Step stay one, in the air the with this storm? Dinosaurs oh, back look. The then, you can see the control panel. If you go, it's if you look in, yes, they've actually this is modeled a that. Support now and look at that. For later. Sweet. Right, I think the storm, is the storm passed yet? I think, I think it's almost passed. Uh, dinosaur danger. Okay, transport, tranquilize. Ha <laughs> ha, don't worry about it. I have what's under control. Look at that. Look at that. Is he annoyed? Has been He's 100% comfortable, aren't you? Yeah. Are you going to attack the fence now? Please don't. It looks like you're going to attack the fence. Don't attack the fence. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. That's bad. St don't, ba Barry. No. You're... Oh, for God's sake! Right, okay. Uh, we'll uh, just instruct somebody to... Uh, thank God he broke out over there and not into the... Uh, the Triceratops. <gasps> Ooh, we could have seen a battle. Oh, no! No, don't sedate it anymore! We need to let it in. Uh, okay, well... we'll uh, I I'm really tempted now. I'm like, if I, if I, if the Baryonyx dies, is that a mission failed? Because I, I really do just want to see what it looks like if... Uh, if, if the Baryonyx fights the Triceratops. But it might fail the campaign, so maybe we will save it. Who, uh, who look exactly like I remembered. Oh, we're done! Was that an MLG speedrun? 30 minutes for that. Sweet. Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. You're welcome. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future... That was something completely different. We're just going to ignore these guys? <laughs> ah, they're fine. Washington! Ha <laughs> ha! Should we crack them these two missions out? Let's do it. So I think here we see Carnotaurus and Alistair, if I remember right, maybe. Dinosaur poacher ring has recently been broken up by the authorities. And after a disaster at the camp, dangerous dinosaurs are now on the loose. So we've seen a desert, and now we get snow. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent Oh, look at Pragasaur sitting it. down! We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very The light field. was flickering there. At Jurassic <laughs> World, and now... Other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Mm. Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. Oh, calm down! And Come on, that, the people have died here! Amateurs! <laughs> ah, who cares about them? Here we go! Bam! Bam! Let's do it. Oh, I missed them. We've got to sedate all the toasts. Yes, I know. Oh, H is to disable the uh, the screen there. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha. Has key facilities that it needs to run a. I crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Now the thing is, I'm hope I'm hoping to put the uh, the Allosaur in here, but if I remember right, I don't think it's big enough as Not it bad, stands. Not bad, I do say so myself, and I guess I am. But we're also gonna need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. 
Huh? You see what I did there? Uh, he's a <laughs> clever respond, man! Respond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. Don't respond. All right, all right. So we need a... We'll put two goat feeders down. Um, we needed a response facility. Paleo... Oh, we'll need that for the Allosaur, because I think he comes injured. Although, uh, if there's space over here... Oh, perfect. Because uh, I'll need to put it in a way where it can actually get from the back up here. Oh god, that's... Oh, that's not the right way around. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Yes! But the question is... Can we fit a path in? <laughs> oh, doggy! Uh, response facility. Okay. Response facility. Don't we have one? Oh no, that was a rival. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I can put one here as well. And then we'll put that over there. And next, it's just a case of just picking up and dropping. Right, so... They'll, I think they need rocks. I think uh, Carnotaurus actually needs rocks. Let's let's see. Let's have a play around. How close can we put these rocks together? Let's have a look. We'll try some other rocks as well. Some little rocks. Oh, that! Look at that! You can get them really close together. Okay, okay. I don't think rotating them makes a difference. They've just got one sort of arc. Claire, we need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. There you go. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. Oh, hold on. That's a broken fence. Transit has commenced. There we go. So, they're all two? Are they, are they original ones too as well? They look different. Like, that's the original fence. And then this is the one I've made. So, that's got me logo on. And that one doesn't. That's a poacher fence. Welcome to Goat Park! Oh, can we... Ah, oh, I want to click on the goat. That was one of the best bits, and JPOG was clicking on the goat. I like that. Um, right, so we need to place one of these in. And then we'll have a ranger team just check up on them and see how they're doing. Probably going to put some water in, some extra water. Put some there. Put some... Look at this. This is beautiful. Right, now we need to wait and see... Oh, it's sitting down. <laughs> Come here, you. Hello. You sits. Right, now, we wait with bated breath to see if they fix the weird running animations. Oh, I don't know what you're after. Oh, you're co Oh! Oh, it's just sand! That was it. That's all I needed. Okay, right. Let's get some sand. Let's get some sand on the ghoul. That likes a lot of sand. Beautiful. Right, there we go. That's that sorted. I kind of want to see how these guys interact with each other, too. Oh, 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 no, the, the running animation is still kind of there. Still kind of like, oh, I'm going one way. Oh, these guys, oh, 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 they're going to do the thing. Is it going to work? Uh, no! Damn it! Why are you sending me over here? Ah! Correct, Mr. You bugger you. I was just about to see it. It's Curse you! Fine. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? But these are not your dinosaurs. My dinosaurs. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. All right, so we gotta go hunt for clues. Scooby Doo! Ah! <laughs> this looks oh, I've made a mistake. You know, not that I'm promising. Did I find it? I've lost a door. <laughs> Whoops, it is. Oh, searching for clues has never been so dangerous. Wait, yeah, power slide! Do we analyze it? Dead deer, no! Everything points in this direction. Alright. So, handbreaker space bar. C switch camera. Oh, yes! I'm buying myself. Stick on the tunes! Oh, and there's another one! Bam! <laughs> what you want about the dinosaurs, but they're not soft. Wherever they go, Lodge leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm. As opposed to... Well, you know, a certain... Level. I wouldn't say Owen Grady's got a bit of an ego. Maybe Chris Pratt does. 
Wait, did I just hit an invisible wall? What did I hit off there? <laughs> what was that? Oh, there's a triceratops. Oh, are you a clue? No, but you're next to a clue. Sorry. Close. My bad. <laughs> just a little sidestep there. We'll get out of the way. Right. Oh, oh, a Gallimimus. Full speed, head and ram it. Oh, you can't. Damn. It slows you down, automatically breaks. Curses. Right. I think it's around here somewhere. Oh, look, a helicopter. Is this what Washington looks like? Have I been? I've been to Boston, not Washington. Oh, oh, dip, 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 heartbreak. Jesus. Yeah, kind of, almost. Uh, it looked kind of cool, but not really. <laughs> Think it's straight ahead? Straight ahead? Oh, another dead deer. Ambush. Move quickly. Now to the chase. That was a better shot. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? It's an ambush. Right now, please tell me you have things under control. I do. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. Whoop. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. I got this. I got this. I'm ready. We have a helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt. The air? Attempt. I'm gonna join it, it on its level. Before it can eat Grady and the others. Now, please don't say that. Go on, you buggy. Where are you? Come on. Hey, yeah. Whoops, that was a terrible shot. Yeah. Yeah, be afraid. Dope it up more. Keep shooting! <laughs> Ooh! What's our status? One more for the sticker book. We have everything almost under control, but the animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, Bloop. me? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Let's see how the dinosaurs look like when we speed up, shall we? Oh, sniffing animation! Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that one before. Right, so Allosaurus on the way. And the herbivores? What about them? Herbivores. As as they stay away from civilization, leave mm -hmm. them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt. <laughs> yes, yeah, just I have them in the wild. I guess so this is the carnivores we need to worry about. To. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking, or is that the government? Claire. Claire. Oh, yeah, the government. Right, okay, here comes the aloe. Here we go. Oh, the snowstorm! It turned everything white! Oh, the Conotaurus is seeing it. <laughs> He's got a good face. Where's the aloe? Oh, it's dropping in. Oh, that's right. We need a vet facility, don't we? Because it's going to have a check on it. It says likes Ceratosaur, Metricanthosaurus, and Compsognathus. Dislikes Carnivore. So it does not like the Carnotaurus. Oh, cohabitation issue. I thought it liked the Carnotaurus. Oh, God. Is that game over? <laughs> oh, that's not fair. When I played... Oh, you buggers, you. When I played the other... Like, I played this mission and Carnotaurus and Allosaur were completely fine. Fronty, you did that deliberately. Oh. All right, we're back this time. Jesus. <laughs> I'll take control. Scan it. Has an undiagnosed ailment. I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess yeah. the status of the dinosaur there that they're bringing in. Right. We'll need to do a full medical scan. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. Ooh, okay, so where do we... I think this will probably do. Although the path is slightly in the way. Per Dr. Dua, so we should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that these animals are unpredictable. Like people. Well, with uh, bigger teeth. Yeah. Oh god. Ah, it was click up, so sorry. <laughs> right, right. Who? Dr. Dua? Yes. She's working for the CIA now. Oh, you'll be pleased to know I'm running a little intelligence op of my own. Oh, who are both you? Of us. <laughs> You're a lot more astute than you let on. Smarter, too. Oh, we've put a lot of forest in here. Although it does help that we can see exactly where she is. 
Right. Let's get the binoculars out. Oh, major fracture. Right, okay. So I we think we need a sedate, don't we? I'd suggest a tranquilizer, but you know. <laughs> you do you. Yeah, tranquilize. Okay, so we're just gonna do our usual. Add a task. Speed that up. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, get out! Oh my god, get out of there! <laughs> Could just flip a truck like that. Jesus! Right, okay. Uh, right. and then take now you and put you into here. The dinosaur, temporarily. Let's get it transported to the paleo medical facility where we can treat its injuries. Right. So we're sort of, we're learning the basics here. And the other the other one we sort of learned how what a dinosaur needs. Now uh, we're sort of messing with multiple carnivore species. So hold on, what can the Carnotaurus? What is it like? Uh, Majungasaur, Albertosaur, and Compies, but it dislikes everything else. And the Allosaur liked Ceratosaurus something else as well. Okay, okay. I'm assuming that all, the, like, the Compi would like the Carno. Or the Albertosaurus would like the Carnotaurus, that sort of thing. It'd be weird if one liked the other and the other didn't like it. Because then it just wouldn't work. Now on to the car wash. -na -na. <laughs> Give it a good clean. Well, at least it's breathing. That's quite cool. I think in the, the other one in Evolution, the, the first one, they just sort of lay down there and did nothing. Oh, well, that looked quite cool. The process is to get some rest, preferably someplace comfortable. Always works for me. Oh, for the no, it needs its own fuel. You imagine correctly. Not according to my ex. Mm. Yes, moving on then. You can probably add we upgrades to, to it to make it faster then. And then secure and comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. I've already done that. Has been delivered. Ensure the Allosaur is visible from the viewing gallery. Sorted. And make sure the Allosaur is on 80% comfort. <gasps> Look at you, you're all healthy now. Can't believe you're intolerant. Minus 30% cohabitation limit and plus 30% chance to attack ranger teams. Oh, it sounds like a... Oh, there we go. Beautiful dinosaur. Washington completed the two story things you've seen. Now played in the first episode. Dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. <laughs> At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one fifth of the total land mass in the US and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Is that good? Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In the forest. Oh, look at it, he's so cute. I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. They have a lovely little bad mud bats. Oh, campaign Pennsylvania. This is new. With operations ongoing across the country, the DFW needs to establish a central headquarters to house all the newly captured dinosaurs. The nearby airstrips at this location makes it an ideal hub for long something something because it cut off. So the how many dinosaurs are in the world right. now? There's hundreds. Away from the hubbub of the public. No prying eyes asking wordless questions. I don't feel much like answering. <laughs> now, call me crazy. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> but we need to centralize our operations. And that's why I've chosen this location. Well, okay, I didn't choose it myself, but I was part of the process. <laughs> I mean, I got the memo. The Appalachians have long been a place where people can kind of disappear. Whether on their own or with the help of someone So we try else. to still keep this so under wraps and no one sees the dinosaurs. the dinosaurs. How is that possible? Oh, oh, this looks so cool. I love the red leaves. Pull a few strings, grease a few palms, twist a few arms, and bang! Just like that, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has a new base of operations. Mm. Now, we'll need to hit the ground running if we're going to have this place ready for something it hasn't dealt with in 65 million years. <laughs> hey. The bare bones are established. But before the ones covered in flesh and blood arrive, we'll need it fully functioning. Owen and Claire are already on site. They'll have more info for you. Mm. Dr. Dua will be coordinating your activities. And me. I'll be managing expectations and staying an arm's length away oh, from the perfect. meat sources. <laughs> oh, wait. Arm's length is probably not the best choice of words. He's a funny one! Mr. Lambert, 
Standing by and ready to go. Just give the word. George Lambert is an expert ranger who worked with us in the islands and is now with the DFW. Oh, he's back! The security division, he dude! He and will deal with the dinosaurs <laughs> while we address the facilities. There are a number of animals from your previous captures that will be coming your way soon. Oh, God. These are unacceptable. Understood. So these we'll are the carnotauruses. The they like sand. Enclosures. We'll catch them. You keep them. They like sand, and if I remember right, they like rock. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, don't, should we end it here, or do we keep going? Guys, what, what do we do? Do we make it a long one? I think we've, we've, we've got to end it there, because I'm over an hour already, and people don't want to see an hour video and be like, Oh, God. I'm over an hour long video. Yes, please. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You won't be seeing me much, because this episode is following off the recording session of the last one, and I didn't realize that the camera stopped recording. But don't worry. Episode three will be all right. And just to make it up to you, I'll pop in with... Uh, enthralling uh, comments as we play. So uh, I'll see you there. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2, where we are playing through the campaign, continuing right off with the never before seen now, because we've done the two things. Um, the first mission I'd already done myself, and the second one we'd seen twice already from me and other YouTubers, as well as Frontier themselves. Uh, so this is the first one that is going to be completely new. So we've got control, a response center, and a arrival point. So, uh, there may be injuries. We have two million. So I'm assuming we probably don't need to worry about too much. We'll make this just in case we get uh, some more dinosaurs that uh, are injured. Because they said that we're getting other dinosaurs from our previous locations. So maybe this is everyone we've had before. I'm not too sure, but just in case, I will make another enclosure uh, here. Kind of want to offset it like it's, yeah, that'll do. So I'll make it, I think it's three, I think I put three, three and a bit, that'll do. Okay, so one, two. Yeah, we'll move it around here. There you go. Look at the splendor that is this enclosure. Aren't you impressed? Uh, we'll put in a viewing gallery. Beautiful, beautiful. So we don't need to worry about, you know, the, the actual park aspect of things at the moment. I think we're okay. Don't know what we're going to get, so I'm not going to place anything in there. And the Carnotaurus... Oh, God! Carnotauruses should be ready! So we got two of them. Nice. Okay, that should be everything, I think? We have new arrivals that will need food and housing. I'd also suggest keeping a close eye on these dinosaurs until they settle into their surroundings. Lambert's right. They've had a taste of the wild. Confinement may not sit well with them. Okay. We make no assumptions and pay attention to all the details. Right. Good. Remember, just like us, the dinosaurs are always learning. And you need to keep that in mind. Oh, as you we've got this for the first habitat. time. Sabotage. And us. So we're probably going to do get some researches then. Get the dinosaurs into the new enclosure. That about cover it, Doc. Perfectly. Right, status check. Let's see. That's one done. That's two done. Uh, are they all okay? Ah, oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, or do I? <laughs> Hello. Can we take pictures? If I if I drive it, take photo, or do we get money for it? Ah, oh, it's a lovely one. Oh, you do! You do get bonuses. Nice! I love that with the other one. You can take 40s. Yeah, you on your one. Okay, so we're just kind of waiting on that. Is there anything I need to do? I love the speed up feature. Because there was a lot of waiting with these kinds of games. And uh, with that, it just speeds everything up. Is there anything else we can put down? Staff. Uh, do we have a staff facility? I don't think we do. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely put one of those down. That sounds like a brilliant idea, James. We need scientists, I think. We'll put a gate on this way. We'll put a gate on that way. And we are good to go. Delivering... Oh, the Al Captured Allosaurus. Okay, so now it's just one. So we'll put the Allosaurus in here. Uh, if I remember right, it liked a lot of forest. Like, a lot of forest. It'll definitely need water. Uh, and it'll need some food as well. And I think that should be good. It might need some sand and stuff. Maybe some rocks. We'll put some rocks down too. <laughs> All the rocks! Place it! Big rocks! Yes! Yeah! 
And the Allosaur has a place to hunt. Uh, transport dinosaur. So I'm, I'm assuming that this is the Allosaur from our other... Oh, God, he's there already. Comfortable at the park, but the lab coats want to make sure the dinosaurs are. So <laughs> that's a job you should stay on top of. Oh, look at it go. Do, 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 do. Are you happy? I'm hoping. Can we get 100% first time? Is it possible? Yay! Oh, I'm a legend. <laughs> oh, you ran backwards. Uh, ensure Allosaur is 80% comfort. Yep, got it. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so we'll play that. We'll, we need another viewing platform here. Some more. Oh, so the electric runs through the fence and into the, uh, the viewing gallery. Oh, that's clever. I like it. Because I was just thinking we're so far away from this backup generator. And we'll probably fill that up anyway. We'll just resupply it all the way. Dinosaurs seem to be taking to their new surroundings. I want to make sure they are doing more than surviving, however. Oh. We need the animals thriving. As I'm sure you understand, our research is more valuable when we have superior specimens in their optimal conditions. So I want you to get a science center built and operational. Got it. This means more scientists will be needed. So build a staff center as well. Ultimately... Science is about the data we collect and analyze. Rubbish in, rubbish out. We want to avoid that at all costs. All right. Especially when you consider the investment that has already been made in these dinosaurs. The CIA wants results, and we're going to get them. Period. Full stop. <laughs> End of story. All right. Construct an operational expedition center. Okay. Dr. Dua and that guy Finch must be getting pressure from above because they want more animals rounded up. Check the expedition. Ooh, and Kylosaur. Dispatch a it's St. Louis. Team to a hot spot. I'll do what I can on my end. You're going to go? You're just going to stay here? Don't, don't want to go? Okay. So the Ankylosaur can okay, go here. Okay, the good news first. We've been achieving some success with our remote capture teams, which means a steady supply of dinosaurs to our control center. Now that I like. Lots of rocks. Removing them from possible uncontrolled interaction with the general public is a 100% win in my book. Now to the bad news, which I always hate getting, but honestly, kind of enjoy giving. <laughs> These animals are arriving with an unknown disease, and we've got to get a handle on it post haste. Oh dear. That's management speak for PDQ, huh? Pretty damn quick. <laughs> Dr. Dua? We can diagnose this disease with scans from our mobile veterinary unit. We'll get it under control before too long. I got you Let's go. covered. Let's get to work. Full speed! So we're going to get the ankylosaurs, and we're going to put them in here, and we're going to diagnose them. Oh, can we hit the rocks, actually? Oh, you can. Oh, they have colliders on them. Interesting. Right, we've got two ankylosaurs incoming. Okay, well, we're ready for them here. So we'll speed up. Um, well, where are they, actually? I'm assuming I'll take, I'll take full control. We can't go double speed when we're taking control of a vehicle. And they're just dropping in now. I don't think I put a thing on them uh, in here, a ranger post. Okay, let's have a look. How's my babies doing? <gasps> Hello. What's wrong with you? Disease contracted cryptosporidius. Ah, oh, that rings a bell. Where's the other one? Oh, I can, sc <laughs> I can scan the armadillo as he comes in. Sweet. Right, we'll also put in a... Uh, yeah, one of these and do a status check with the jeep. Shouldn't be doing anything. You have to understand something. Owen and I signed on to this project because we want what is best for the dinosaurs. Not for them to be exploited or engineered, hacked and spliced <gasps> and oh? compromised. Interaction? They deserve a chance at life as much as any other Oh, it is! Honestly, they're like talking to more. each other. Oh, hi, hi. Glad to see you here. So, do the research, find the cure, and <laughs> then let's use it. <laughs> Dinosaurs die. Again. And listen, that's not going Oh, to wait, okay. I was gonna say, did it just die? <laughs> no! <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it didn't just die. The sedation happened. Oh, that was close. Right, so let's get these guys moved into. I think I only have one at a time, actually. Yeah. Okay, we'll move you into. Where is it? It's a big thing. It's the big thing. There it is. 
Obstructed? Oh, are you already going? Oh, no. Uh, requires major injury. Oh, research the following. Oh, we just have to research it. Oh, I'm so sorry I sedated you. No, why did I do this? So, how do I research stuff? Research, here we go. Uh, I assume medicine. And Cryptosporidius. Spurdius, here we go. And we'll start with that. And we need to remember he's going to need uh, to be on a little timeout as well. Oh, we got another one. Another crypto in here too. This, I... Oh, hold on. We didn't do the comfort. Um, need more ground leaf and more fruit. So, ground leaf. E oh, God, no. Now needs open space. So, what's the fruit? The fruit's a little bit low as well. Fiber... Tall tree, forest. Is this it? Oh, this is everything, I think. That's fruit as well. Ooh, the enclosure's like a little bit small for it. Yeah. It needs way more open space. Okay. Right, so we'll play normal speed now. And I'll have the jeep. Uh, I don't need a status check. You need to medicate. But how do I tell it to medicate and not- unless I do it myself. I think I'll take direct control. We will aim. And- oh, can we only do flare and binoculars? Q and E. <laughs> okay, I can't. That's interesting. So do we do it from the helicopter? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now open space should be okay. And- or not. Oh, they need to reestablish their territory because they haven't woken up yet. Uh, but we need- Fruit, and we need ground leaf. Oh, look, it does have a health recovery as well. Oh, did it Dr. just kill Dool, a goat? This is Lambert. I think it did. I've just received word that you'd like us to increase our capture efforts. Can you confirm? Yes. Yes, that's correct. We need to grow this facility, which means we need more animals. It's time to stress test our systems and make sure mm. we're capable of managing both the science and our operations. Understood. My teams are standing by. We still have a number of dinosaurs in the wild. Plenty of targets to bring in. Assets. And yes, this will be an ongoing mission for us moving forward. Oh, building upgrades. Okie dokie. We could definitely use a few building upgrades. Oh my god! Assign one of the scientists to it. They can apply their skills to the Paras, task and we Sino, can reap the benefits. Barry, Chasmosaur, Taurosaur, Brachiosaur, but we don't have enough for that. Uh, Diplodocus is... So let's go for the Paras. Yeah, we'll put them all on. Okay. Right, so complete the DFW headquarters by increasing asset rating. Right, so we just need more dinosaurs then. I think the Ankylosaurs are okay. Yeah, they just needed to reestablish their territory. So if we go under comfort, yeah, there you go. So they took a while to go over, but I think we're good. Uh, they need a little bit more ground leaf. Which is weird, because we've got loads. Yeah, there we go. Perfect balance. Who's a cutie? Is you one? Looks like the same model from Evolution, but uh, we, we, we thought we'd come to expect that anyway. So Paras might be okay with the Ankylosaur. Actually, I should have checked this first. Um, Sauropod, Ornithomimus. Ceratopsids, Hadrosaurid. Yes, we can put uh, Parasaurs in with the Ankylosaurs. It just doesn't like other Ankylosaurids, uh, other Stegosaurids, or any carnivores. Okay, well, that's to be expected, but it doesn't mind Comsognathus. Um, so, can we upgrade Empty Slot? Okay, I'm sure we could probably do some research. Well, we have no scientists at the moment, and we need to wait for them to come back. We're, we're learning, we're learning, we're getting used to it. Uh, so we're probably going to have to resupply? We'll resupply a little bit. I think something was running low. It's this thing, the response facility. We'll resupply as well. And, oh, food. Interesting. Do we need... Oh, right. So in order to refill the carnivore feeders, they no longer have, like, a limit on the feeder, but the jeeps have a limit on how much they can... Uh, send out or like replenish by that's interesting that's a new change so para are you ready paras wow <laughs> here they come here come the girls 
Right. We need a status check on these bad boys. Right. Oh, my favorite dinosaur. Who's your cutie? Yes, you are. I love the blush you put on your eyebrows. Very nice. Right. Okay. So now that the scientists are back. Uh, view scientists. Let's put you to bed. Uh, recruit a new scientist. So I haven't checked with my other scientists. Hold on. Let's check. So we've got... Like three, five in total for logistics, two for health, but the site, the bottle, where's the bottle? Genetics. We need something good at genetics. Um, I want genetics and welfare, really. So, Rivers is really good. He's got five for genetics and two for welfare. We'll take him. Because he's he makes up for what the others lack. Seems like I know what I'm talking about. Right, okay, so we've got a Sinoceratops. That might work with the Paras. Uh, two Chasmosaur, they won't work with them, so we're not going to do that. Taurosaurs will need their own enclosure. Deinonychus? Oh, yeah, because we didn't know if Deinonychus was confirmed, of course. Two Barrys. You know what? I've just made another en enclosure. I think a Barry. Go on, Rivers, join Taurus. In your new mission. Right, so let's see. How are they doing? Oh, here comes the fifth, the fifth one. So we can only transport four dinosaurs at a time. Um, where's the jeep? Here comes the jeep. Look at this! Just seeing all this foliage so close together. Oh, they're talking. They're saying hello. Oh, they are. Oh, they're like sniffing. Oh, they're rubbing on each other too. Like, I like you, yes. Right, go on then. Don't be on standby. Do that, man. Or at least, you know, do one by one. So at least if we get one... Right, okay. There we go. Let's see. So what do you need? You want ground nut. You want ground nut. And maybe they want to establish a territory uh, a little bit more. Oh, I like this. A para is giving me a little bit of extra challenge. I'd never have that in the first one. Oh, it's a para, so it's fine. <laughs> but he wants ground nut. Right, ground nut, where are you? Oh, avian influenza. Oh, dear. Okay, right. We've got another another disease. Avian influenza. There it is. Ah, that's fine. Go on. Off you go. He's just chewed off a door. It's all right. I was going to say, don't we? We've got a gate here. You don't have to go through the carnivore exhibit. You know that. Right, there we go. So we've set that up. Uh, this is Baryonyx. So... I'm expecting it to need that, but we're going to have to put some water down first. It's probably going to need a lot of water. Lots of water. Put that down. Give it some sand, because I think it liked sand. And then we'll assign another capture team. I wonder if we can buy another jeep. We need another ranger station, James. It's getting a bit out of control <laughs> with all of these. All these uh, dinosaurs and only having one, like, jeep. Uh, we'll go to regular speed now. Yeah, you definitely, you can't have it on, like, three times the speed all the time. Parasaur's okay. Yeah, there's, they're, they're getting on with the Ankylosaurs. That's good. Right, okay. Any ailments? No ailments detected. But it does want more rocks. Well, I can definitely give you that. Do you want bigger rocks? Bah! Look at all the rocks you like. Uh, a little bit more forest. All right. And a tad bit more water. There you go! A perfectly happy Baryonyx, ready to chew this guy's arm off. Right, let's see, what do we get? There was five Taurosaurs found, and we got five of them non-evaded. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, one more for the sticker, but we got eight out of 79 species. So every time we import a species into this campaign, we actually unlock it. Probably for like challenge mode or something like that. I think it's just for the database, but what do I know? Right, let's have a look at Taurosaur then. Yeah, or, or, or not, because apparently it goes super dark. He looks like he's a bit, um, where am I? Undiagnosed thing. Okay, well, how about we diagnose it? Yes. Oh, did they do something? I think they just did. Oh, uh, these guys might be. Are they going to interact? Oh, I think they are. Oh, are you gonna? Ah, wallop! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the same one the Triceratops does. 
That's cool, though. I like that. I like that they, um, they have thought about that. Disease contract. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, God, everybody's got it. It's the common cold. Surely we don't need to research the common cold. <laughs> we need to research the common cold. Oh, forest and what was that? So they need more forest. Uh, and they want more ground fiber. There. Yes, perfect. And here we go. Common cold, disease, cause infection. Untreatable disease recurs naturally over time. That's nice. Oh, okay. So we don't have to research every disease or dart every disease. That's that's really interesting. I like that. Okay, so, I mean, as long as they don't get out, then they're not going to affect infect anything else. Oh, we've got a storm. Okay. Um... Well, we're going to need to sedate our carnivores. So I'm just preemptively doing this. Oh my god, there's a friggin' hurricane, okay? Greetings. All right. Our dinosaurs are panicking. Why? Like any animal, fear drives their survival instinct. I'm not surprised. And that is coming under threat. Oh god. The comfort for everything might be going down? No. Oh, oh. Okay. If we go on map, does it say? Oh, that's not map. That's map. Ah, nice. Look at it destroying everything there. That's that's nice of it. Uh, where's the helicopter? Oh, oh, can the helicopter fly into the tornado? Oh, dear. I don't think you should be flying in this. But okay. Can you can you fix things? I don't know where you are. Oh, it's gone. Okay, wh where is this? Where is the jeep? Can't see Jeep. Where Jeep? Oh, Jeep's over here. All right, everything was sedated. Uh, it's a good job we sedated the uh, the Baryonyx and the Carnotaurus because um, their enclosures are wide open. Right, here we go. Can we buy change skin? Ooh, oh, we don't have any. Damn. Can we upgrade? Uh, can't use that just yet. Deactivate. I kind of want another one, though. We do have 7 million. Requires repair at base. Okay, so what is this? Expedition center. No, response facility. Let's make another response facility. <laughs> Did I just hear a goose? What made that goose sound effect? <laughs> right. Carnotaurus, off you go. Where's your buddy? Yeah. There you go. Okay, we'll wake those guys up. We'll wake the Allosaur up. And this should... It should be getting fixed. I kind of don't want to wake up the Baronex just yet. I'll put him... Where is he? Where'd he go? Right, so we've got Sinoceratops incoming. Now, challenge. can the Taurosaurs cohabit? Uh, no. Okay. Right, can the Sinoceratopses go in here? It depends if the Paras like them. Uh, oh, it dislikes Dr. Wu hybrids. And likes sauropods. So, it doesn't not like uh, <laughs> Sinos. Okay, so we maybe we put them in there. What about Ankylosaurs? Uh, no, the Ankylosaurs like them too. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they could just go in here then. Can we have a look? Oh, God. Wow, there's no shed. To oh, no. The Paris have a little bit extra. Just a little bit. But they're happy to cohabit. That's, not, that's interesting. Okay. Yes, nobody evaded. We got them. One, two, three, four. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Okay, please be okay. Please be okay. You will be. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Has been right. Uh, where? Oh, you're at base and not doing anything? Sweet. Uh, monitor. Oh, your tasks are full. Okay. He's got a lot of tasks. The other guy doesn't. I don't think he's assigned to anything. Your task, which you definitely will choose to accept, is to check in on the Sinos. The first time seeing a Sino. Hello, baby. Who's a cutie? You look just like you did in Fallen Kingdom. Like a slug. <laughs> oh, oh, did we do it? Oh. Okay, okay. We're making progress. Okay, Sino's the only one that's below 80%, to be I think. For you, anyway. <laughs> take this next objective, for example. Right, so when this guy comes over, I'll tell you what, I'll take control. <laughs> I'll do it. Leave it to me. Uh, okay, I think it's R. Binoculars, please. Blip. Right. There we go. Oh, the vehicle's not under attack. It's fine. So they need more forest and more ground fiber. 
Uh, they need more groundnut. Okay, so we're gonna extend out this t this fence a little bit more. Uh, they needed ground leaf, and we should be getting there. Oh, look at you guys getting along. Okay, so we've learned how to sort of keep dinosaurs together, what cohabitations work, the key balance between keeping all species together happy. I like it, I like it. Is that, that, that's that done, yay! There we go, mission complete, Pennsylvania. This is what we'd hoped to accomplish on Isla Nublar, a place where the dinosaurs could finally thrive, minus the volcano, obviously. That's a pretty big minus. I think we can that's all be proud of minus. what we've accomplished here. <laughs> stuff like that. But? But what? I can hear it in your voice. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering what Dua is really up to. I don't buy all her saving the future by controlling the past talk. And we never yeah, save Gallies. Gallies are that fine. Some of the animals were being moved to an undisclosed location. He wouldn't say, or maybe he didn't know who was taking delivery, but it wasn't the DFW. A third party? <laughs> Dr. Wu! <gasps> Who's looking after them? Campaign Oregon! Ooh, there are reports of contested airspace in the Pacific Northwest, and the DFW have been called in to capture flying reptiles. Hey, flies! To protect them, and local air traffic plans have been made for a new purpose built aviary. Oh, hey, hey, we get them! Oregon. First reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic. Do they have a lot of big potatoes? Now we're getting I think radar so. hits from Portland International. So they're traveling south. Probably because of the weather. Agreed. They're migrating. But what happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? It dies. Modern world <laughs> and the prehistoric one on a collision course. If Owen and Lambert do what they say they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Okay. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh. oh, we also need an expedition center. And as you heard, time is not on our side. I think what I'm most looking forward to with this game is probably just doing like a challenge mode or making my own park, I think. I mean, I do like this. Oh. And we're kind of like going over the basics. And I want to see what this story is. Because um, I feel like, what, what was the story with evolution? Was it just Dr. Wu manipulating all of the, like, the branches to fight off each other so he could make his hybrid sort of thing? I think it's something like that, I feel. Avery Dome Hatchery and Avery Gallery. Okay, so once you research that, you get all of those rewards. Gotcha. Okay, so we literally just need to speed up. If only we could build here. It looks so beautiful. Right. Let's get this done. Avery. Bam. Uh, then we should be able to just put the hatchery on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Look at this. Ready? We're going to go bam. Bam. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. And then can we put like an Avery viewing platform on that? Ready yes. On this end. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not-so-friendly skies. Oh, urgent message. Oh, <gasps> incident alert. Oh, my God. Local authorities have captured flying reptiles near... Oh, look, have they? They arrest them, put them in handcuffs. We need to send a live capture team to locate... Uh, sorry, to collect them ASAP. Uh, well, do it now. Hell, yeah. Uh, oh, it's in California. We need two. Okay, Rivers, you go. Oh, we keep the same guy. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, I guess that we makes sense. We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And why, release, why do we not have this contain. already? Yes, in a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. Mm. She's the new one. She's the new Dr. Wu. She's going to capture all these dinosaurs and make an army. Five Tyrandon found and five captured. Oh, okay. Transport them. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Ten out of 79. 
Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. Right, we've got four million. How can we make it bigger? Oh, yes. Let's make a double boob. Yes. Flapped. Life finds a way. Oh, there's a chief. Oh. Okay, how'd you put the... Oh, you put them in the hatch? Or oh. Oh, let's see it again. Go on, put one. So that's how they... I always wondered how they... Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> that's how they get transported. <laughs> in you go. Dum, 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 dum. So you go in there. And then I think you get released here. Oh, look at it. Yes. Fly, my pretty. Fly. Uh, there is nothing in here for you, unfortunately. So you need rocks, water, and fish. Right. So there's your water. You apparently need more water. And you need some rocks. They must be able to land on the rocks then. Uh, and fish. There you go. And that's you sorted, mate. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Oh, this is cool. Oh, they really... They they feel like they're doing their own thing and not on a, a, like a predetermined animation path or something. I mean, they probably have places where they sit and stuff like that, but this looks cool. But they don't want any trees or anything? Oh, they want more water now. You, you want more water. Jesus. Oh, it's because the feeder took up some of it, didn't it? Okay. There you go. There you go. Sorted. They don't really care for trees, though. Yeah, there's one more. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words. Yeah, well, times, <gasps> Ian like, Malcolm! Very phrase over the years. I'm gonna go with, uh, I wonder if he looks like that in Dominion, because that's, that's a different Instead. image. Dr. Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens. It's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes. Yes. We do what we can. And sometimes <laughs> yes, yes. more than we should. Interesting times. And I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? Whoa. No. You can kind of see inside. That's cool. Yes. Little touch. Ergo, little touch like that. They should. The drone! hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard. Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be here. <laughs> they just love sitting on this These thing, don't they? These require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. I got it covered, pet. It's fine. And no doubt you'll send more Tronodons and I'll hey, need to make it bigger. Isaac oh, Clinton. Isaac. Yeah, Dr. I remember Isaac. He was the entertainment. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery Done it. is also on our list. So Done it. Now it's on yours. <laughs> right. So I think what we need to do now is hey, capture Claire. some more. I've been thinking. When you think it makes Trump me nervous. Trump this. No. no <gasps> to move it on. Why the flyers? Uh, okay. I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm oh, what do we go for? Tropoganathus or Demorphodon? We're we'll going for Demorphodon. These flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger. And he's concerned. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. It's all a conspiracy! It's the reptilians again! <laughs> right, okay, so... We need to keep the Demorphodon yeah, separate because right, they might get uh, killed it's, it's sort of my thing. by these the big guys. Is functioning as anticipated. We have enough Even though they were in the, the same enclosure in Jurassic World, right? Yeah, we'll right see. Now we're we'll putting see. out brush fires, but this, 
this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where does that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance. Humanity versus the dinosaurs. And That's honestly, everything, I'm yeah. not sure who deserves to win. We do, Ian. We do. Okay, so we'll speed that up. If we want so we've got two success, triangles. We must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flop. Huh? 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 <laughs> okay, we're going to do one at a time. Right. So I think the campaign is just going to focus. Oh, oh, I, like I like the difference. In sound. That's nice. Nice touch. So, in the campaign, we're basically focusing on rescuing dinosaurs. That's the difference. Okay. So, six and we got six. Brilliant. Okay. Transport them. I'll put them in the little one. Uh, Delivery. Can we not put them in there? Isn't that the hatchery? Can we not? I want to... Yeah, put them in there. There we go. Another dinosaur added to the collection. Now, we'll see what the difference is with these guys. Uh, also, we'll go and get the Tropicanathus now. We've got four more Trandons, which we can probably put in that one. Uh, should we just get that? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, off you go. Uh, do we have a staff center here? Oh, oh, yes, we do. Okay, we'll rest some, we'll rest uh, the two other guys, because I don't think we need them yet. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Ah, yes. A perfect way to transport a Demorphodon. Let's see it. Hello, pretty. There it is. Hello, berries. No, not the jeep, man. I don't want the jeep. I want this. Right, it wants sand, water. Oh, it just needs sand. Okay. Almost had it completely. We'll put sand round the water. Yes. There we go. You can barely see it anyway. Uh, Las Vegas capture completed. Oh, okay. So this is more pteranodons. Four pteranodons. Okay. Oh, one flew away. I'm firing that guy. One, two, three. Okay. So he should be good to do one more. Oh, we, oh, he's not. He's not qualified enough. Never mind. Are they interacting? He's just kind of hovering in place here. What's your comfort on? His stamina is really low. Why is, is stamina is low? Do you need? Oh, he needs more water. Okay. A little bit more water. There you go. Perfect. The stamina is really low. Please don't die. Don't know why you're just flapping. All right, now we just wait for some scientists to be done with their little naps. Okay, so... Whoa, look! We can see them in the daylight now. So they do need water as well. That's nice. Okay. So they are basically just dinosaurs, just in an aviary. I think... Or at least... It feels... Oh, look at that. looks so cool. It feels like maybe the Tranodons or the, the Flyers are maybe a little bit more fleshed out than the other dinosaurs. Like the, the aquatic, sorry. Because these guys can break out. They can interact with other dinosaurs. They've got their own eating animations. Well, maybe the, the swimmers or, you know, the aquatics, they kind of just stay in their lagoons and they, they can't break out, right? Because they just die on land. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if, like, other dinosaurs went close to the enclosure, they could grab them, but... Oh, let's see what this guy's doing. What are you doing? <gasps> you want some... Oh, oh, he got little papa fish. Nom, 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 nom. Wow, these other fish are going nuts. <laughs> oh, look at the little face. He looks so cute. He's got a big head. It's the T-Rex of the skies. He's got ginormous heat. Oh, hold on. We need to 80% comfort. Okay, so somebody's not happy. It's, I'm guessing probably the Pteranodons. But I could be wrong. Oh, no, they need more sand, these guys. Okay, a little bit more sand. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's definitely the Pteranodons then. I did just put in loads of them in here. So, uh, area, it's too small. Uh, they need more rocks, more water, and another fish. Okay, we're gonna need another Avery here. We'll find out very quickly if they don't like each other. Okay, so open space is done. We'll put in... 
We probably need two feeders now, actually. Because there's multiple species. Like three feeders, even. Right, so put you there. One. And you need to be a little bit bigger. And three. Okay. Oh, did I do it? Wait, that's it? No! I didn't get to look at me trophies! You bugger, you swindled us! And beauty has its charms. What appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Oh, you've Excuse changed me, your Dr. tune. Malcolm, there are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos, don't you just love it? I do. Oh, it's the California Apache Cephalus. A large herd of wild dinosaurs have congregated in a valley inside Yosemite National Hall. Mini Neko National Park. The DFW want to set up a facility here to catalog and monitor the dinosaurs here, as well as safety. <laughs> Over one thousand square miles in size, it is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth. The giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. And now they're going to be eaten by Toby here. The, dinosaurs here? <laughs> the sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. And this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. <laughs> Can't take it! Ah! <laughs> Light refraction! Too many! Ooh, pteranodons, this'll be a challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of our Jurassic World Evolution 2 campaign playthrough. And to my surprise, I've looked at the main menu and we are 80% the way through. Which means that there's only 5 and each one's 20%. So we're basically in the last one and I'm assuming this one's gonna be all about lagoon creatures. So, or maybe, I don't know. It says we're 80% of the way through. We've got Patches, a large herd of wild dinosaurs has congregated in a valley inside Yosemite National Park. And we need to contain some dangerous species nearby, which to me doesn't really sound a lot like uh, uh, aquatics. So, I don't know, where, where are we? Do we have anything on the map? <gasps> oh. Okay, the horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have oh. dinosaurs that we'll need to capture, and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns. Barns, no. Expedition center, a paleomedical yeah. facility, and a response facility. Yes. <laughs> Those should give us a solid foundation. Okay. Let's go ahead and build these buggers. So we got response, expedition, and now a paleomedical facility. Oh, look at it there. Beautiful. And of course, we need power. Still haven't learned about power stations, but again, I guess that's because we would be making a park if that was the case. Which leads me to hazard a guess as that's probably what the Jurassic Park Chaos mode is. It's like teaching you how to make a park. I'd assume. Again, huge congratulations for the best thing in, in this game ever to be added. And that is, of course, um, uh, P for path, which is awesome. Uh, Paleomedical Faci Expedition Facility and Response Facility. Well... They're all made, however, I think we need an arrival point, which can be facing right in front of them. Yes. Still, can we get so close as we don't need to build a path? I don't think that's even possible yet. No, I don't think so. Okay. Is there, unless there was already one already. But let's have a look. Uh, not that. And how big this map is. Wild out. Oh, so this is where we're going to be getting the stuff. Can we go out there? <gasps> we can't. Nice. A nice touch that we can't actually fly over and just have a look at everything. We have to wait. Oh, and just see what's around the river bend. How are you at photography? Uh, Amazing. In what aspect? I think my right side is a little better than my left. Oh, and I'm talking about the dinosaurs. We're gonna want images of the species. In the my same right's way. better than my left. That's why you see me from this oh, angle all the time. Right. <laughs> okay, I get it now. We can take one of the vehicles and go on a photo expedition. Photo! Yeah, I know. My left is better. You're still here? I'm leaving, but I haven't left. Get it? I'm doing a play out. Oh. Gone, gone. I'm gone. 
Bam! Look at that. They've all got their backs. They're running, panicking. Oh, running's the same price. Okay. Well, hopefully they don't kill me. Uh, so that is one out of eight species. Oh, do we think there'll be a, a T-Rex anywhere? What's this one? What's this little guy? Oh, it's a compy! Little compy! Panicking, yes, bonus. Composition bonus. Oh, you do get a composition bonus now. Oh, I like that, I like that. Okay. So that is probably all the patches. And I assume when we take the picture, the uh, the little notification <laughs> disappears over it. So yes, we're all good. Yes, making sure. We're not going to have that problem again. <laughs> I can't believe it. Every, like, I never have a problem. Never had a problem. Then all of a sudden, the game was like, yeah, now you're going to have a problem. Now you're not going to be able to record OBS and your recording software at the same time. <laughs> Are they in there? I think they're around here. Like, around this corner by the looks of it. Oh, here they are, Gallimimus. Oh, no, Zootoceratopsians. Not my best, finest, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh, that was nice. They adapted pretty quick. The bison of Yosemite. Actually, isn't Yosemite like a giant volcano? Oh, oh. Look at that. Beautiful pretties. Submit. I need more money. Okay, so we got all those guys. Should we get another one even closer? There. Look at that for a shot. I got less composition bonus. How dare you! So close to oh god! Natural habitat. These photographs are like we're not just capturing the dinosaurs, but a moment in time. Which, considering how they got here, feels... We must weird. steal their souls! This is as close as we'll ever get to seeing the dinosaurs the way they were 65 million years ago. Yes, it's amazing. It's breathtaking. <gasps> well, don't forget to breathe, Claire. That's very important. We've got a Padasaurs over here. Should really be doing a handbrake turn. Skee! Oh, look at that. Hey, yeah. Uh. Oh, who's pretty? No, that was a terrible... No, I want to discard that one. We need a better one. What's a better shot? Yes. Get the butty in shot. Much better. Apparently, there's more over this way. Ooh. Should we drive into the forest? Then we can go around. Maybe this see oh, 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 I see him. I see him. So we've got two left. Uh, Stickies? Stickies or Dracos? I'm going to say Stickies since Stickies like the fan favorite now. It's, had a, it's been in a movie. There you go. You won't get sued by J.K. Rowling for having Draco Rex in a game. <laughs> or in the campaign. Right, so we've got one left. What is it? I assume it's probably around the... Uh, the back of this mountain? Could be... I could be wrong. But I think they probably put them in areas that make more sense. This is more of what I was wanting from a campaign. Like this. This is fun. Like something different. Something I can't normally do. And it's it's very similar to uh, the last mission in JPOG, which is just take pictures of the dinosaurs. Uh, there's one here? What are you? Oh, you're a Barry! Hey, uh... Oh, God. We need our remote capture teams bringing back the most dangerous dinosaurs. The safety of the public and the dinosaurs are both at stake. I'm your man. And, uh, and I'm your man. Oh, so pretty. Once we have them, we'll get them secured within our new facility. And so, I know. So uh, be careful. Right. Oh, wow, this is a big area. Did I even go left? I think I'm... Oh, I must have. Okay. Right, increase the asset rating. So, we need to... Oh, that's expedition. Can we just click on the helicopter and go over there? Or are we still stuck? Right, well, first we need a an enclosure. This looks like a perfect little place. Okay, spacebar is still not bend fence, and I'm finding that really weird. We'll make a lovely circle fence. And a little bit here, and then there you go. Right, we right, must observe. We'll cut out the middleman. Yes. There, that'll do. Uh, we'll make it ready for a, a baryonyx. Putting in a fish feeder. We'll give it sand, I think it likes sand. So we'll give it some sand. It probably has too much water. And I think it likes rocks. So I'll put it, I'll make a little rock pool. <gasps> oh, whoa, the refraction looked so cool there. Look at that. <gasps> was it like that in J, uh, JPOG? Was it like that in the first one? I don't know if it was. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Right. So we need a power station here as well. We'll probably put that over here. And we'll also... Make a really, really long path. 
shift. You want to see it? You gotta walk for it. Yeah, there you go. We'll put that there. Hopefully it's big enough. I'm assuming it is. And the other thing we need to do is put in one of those. Should we put it like right here so that they don't have to travel far? Yeah, we'll put that in. And we'll make sure that he's got that on his list of things to do. Look at this! This enclosure looks so good! Oh, I'm so happy with that. I've barely done anything. This is the part of the recording when I spent about 20 minutes trying to guard a bari. Then I realized I was supposed to use expeditions to get dinosaurs. Oh well. With expedition. Oh, okay. So, no, I don't sedate this guy. <laughs> oh, that was so cool, though. For having to track him down. No, I've got to go in here. And like, oh, right, fine. Cryolophosaurus. Heck yeah, let's get some Cryolophosaurus. Uh... Go on then. We need a staff facility if we're going to do this. If we're going to do this right. Uh, control center? I think that's it? No, I think it's staff. Here it is. Staff. Okay. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, so we're probably going to need multiple enclosures then. So let's get to work on that. Well, let's just hope there's a Barry that needs uh, rescuing. What do you mean facility not built? Oh. Oh, do I not have like a science center? Alrighty then. Two Cryolophosaurus is found. And one evaded. Fantastic. <laughs> well, what do we expect here? Cryolophosaurus? How you doing? Oh. Uh... Okay, Mr. Cryolophosaurus. What do you want? More Vasa. <laughs> I can give you that very easily. That you want it done? Okay, you want more forest? I can give you that too. And you're perfect. You're perfectly happy. Ooh. First time seeing you, and we can barely see you. Brilliant. <laughs> we have to wait till day. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what else we can capture. Stilophosaurus? Allosaurus. I don't know what that means. Like seven out of six, so it's too many. We need more scientists for that one, right? Uh, Metriacanthosaurus. Uh, Trodon. Uh, Albertosaurus. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what this guy can uh, get along with. Compies. And hates everything else. Okay, brilliant. So we are going to need that other one. But there does not seem to be a single aquatic... Well, uh, baryonyx or anything. So I'm going to have to redo that enclosure. Eight Trodon. Three Metriacanthosaurus. A Dilophosaur. Three... Six Dilophosaur. Let's go for six Dilophosaur. Yeah. Okay, right. So I need to go into staff building. View scientists? Yes! Rest, my friend, rest! Yes! Finally! Get to see you a little bit better in the light. Nice! Yeah! Kind of just looks like an allosaur with a little crest on its head. Right, so I've got two more enclosures. Uh, we'll probably send him off to get that one as well. So we can perform status checks. Just change this one now to be a little bit more friendly. So there were six Dilophosaurs and we captured five of them. One evaded. Ah, oh, look at that. Lovely crest. So I'm kind of tempted for this one to be the Dilophosauruses. So 14 out of 79. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited, Dilophosauruses. Yes. Oh, lovely. Are you all okay? No diseases? We all good? He's doing the little goon. This has got to be big enough for them, right? Look how big this is. It's perfectly fine. Get some interactions. Let's see. How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. I like how they got the Jurassic Park Builder Dilophosaurus sounds in as well. Oh, they're both doing it. They're both doing the sort of looking around. Okie dokie. Uh, so we don't know what they need at the moment. Uh, we'll send off another expedition to go get something else. Uh, eight Trodon. Herarasauruses? Let's get Metricanthosaurus. I like Metricanthosaurus. Where's the goat? I want to see them hunt the goat. There's the goat. He's having a grand old time, aren't you? Okay, here he comes. All right, we're going to find out. Oh, did he open? Oh, go very slow there, Jeep. Ah, oh, uh, ail Undiagnosed ailment. Oh, okay. We're going to have to bring in the mobile unit and just check on what these dinosaurs have. But we can see what they need. So they, they just need forest. Oh, beavers. Oh, God, they need a lot of forest. Wow. Okay. 
Ooh, forest in the water, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. How much forest do they need? Like, a lot. And there we go. They need a little bit more water. Come on. Almost. Almost. We're pushing the boundary. Yes. There you go. Jeez, that's close. <laughs> they like a lot of forest. I like it. All right. So now we got the... Oh, did you go in? I think you diagnosed them. They've got rabies. Okay, so we'll definitely need to research rabies. Take a photo of the dinosaur with rabies. Ah, I like it. I like it. Where are you going? I want direct... Wait, what? What do you mean a fence is broken? They broke a fence? Why'd you do that? I'm going to take a picture. Caught in the act. There you go. Dilophosaur with rabies. Extra bonus. Repair fence, please. Wait, is there multiple fences, fence breakages? There is. Why? That's probably because they have rabies, isn't it? Okay, well, good job. There's nobody in the park. Nobody cares about the staff. All right, let's go to research. Now that we've taken a picture of a dinosaur with the rabies. Uh, oh, we're good. That's all we needed to do. Oh, nice. I like that. I like that it breaks it up. So add a task. Oh, 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 fuel and food. Yes, I know. Is something running out of it, is it? Uh, response facility offline. Oh, 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 wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, we've got the metric and the sources now. Brilliant. Only two out of three. Perfect. Plop them in there. They'll be fine. They might have actually gone. Wait, what? Oh, we're completely out of power. <laughs> ah. Oh, God, that cost a lot. Right. Now I need you to medicate these guys. Medicate, 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 medicate. And then I need the chopper. To tranquilize that guy. Oh, here we go. It's gonna take two seconds to get that. I'm not gonna dot a Dilophosaurus. They're a pain in the arse. <laughs> oh, another fence break. Where are you going? You missed one. Go on. That one. Kinda just want to sedate all of these because they're they're all just slowly walking out. Stop it! All of you being very naughty boys or girls. Right, we're also going to need to know what these need. The Metracathosaurus. Oh, gorgeous. Look at you. Oh, yeah. The filter thing still works. <laughs> ah, they're not rabies anymore, but they are just free to roam about. What are you doing, man? Turn around and fix that duck goddamn fence. Well, go forward. Oh, my God. What, what, what is wrong with you? Have you fixed the fence? Wait, where, where is the broken fence? We can just plonk these guys back in. Because they should be okay. I think they just broke out because they had rabies. All right, there should be one more that I think is still dark. There he goes. Eh. <laughs> plonk you back in there. Are you guys okay? Oh, interaction. Oh. Oh, oh, oh it's good. They're in love. No, they're not. <laughs> Will they kill the goat the same way? Oh, I don't know. Oh, his door's, his door's hanging off a bit there. Nothing you can't handle. What's that park on? Oh my, wow, we've got loads. We've got so far to go. Right, so we need to fill you as well up with food and gasoline. And now we've got 800,000. Wow, okay. Um, What 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 do I need? Trodon, Herarosaur, Allosaur, and Albertosaur. Kind of want an Albertosaur. But we need better scientists for that. So, with that being said, we need to get rid of... Yes, we need a lot of... So sorry, I'm going to fire you. You've barely done anything, and I'm going to fire you. It's only 19,000. And now we've got 5, 6, 7, 8. So we should be able now to get the Albertosaur. But that being said... Uh, what can the Dilophosaur... Actually, well, the Dilophosaur's exhibit is so, like, customized to its own... Their own needs that I don't think there's any... I can't put anything else in there. I'll take a stab in the dark. Yeah, look, we can get the Albert now. Two Al... Should we get the Allosaurs? Yeah, let's get the Allosaurs. Is that it? No, no, no. We need six logistics. It's gonna have to be these two. Off you go. Right, Cryolophosaurus, how are you doing? You still Okay. Can't believe you don't get on with anything. Open space is fine. It's just the forest it wants. And there you go. Happy are we. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it looks like it's going to go for a go. Oh, is it destroying the Jeep? I think it might be destroying the Jeep. I thought you were hungry. Uh, food and you haven't had a status check. And I'm pretty... 
pretty sure the other one's going to be good. But just in case, I will take control here. Uh, and I will... Can I use my binoculars on him? Uh, he's probably a little bit too far away. Come on, turn around. Yeah. I'll make sure you don't have any diseases. Don't worry. Binoculars. Check complete. Sweet. Also, I need money, so do you mind posing for a nice 40? Oh, yes. That'll fully fund my next dig. 300,000 for all that fuel. But we're good, we're good. Okay, so we're, we're going to make another enclosure, just in case uh, they don't seem to get on with anything else. And this is so slow because it doesn't want to run over people. So it's so slow because the path's there. There should be a separate, uh, like, road that you can make that makes them go faster. Just a thought, you know. Oh, in they come. Do we get both or only one? Oh, the first time we got both on a carnival. I like it. Nice. Where are they coming in from? There they are. My hello, my baby. Wow. I guess if I need money, I can really just, you know go out and take pictures of other dinosaurs. Uh, Trodon, Albertus. Do you think Albertus might get on? With, uh, what's it called? I think Albertus might get on. Right. There we are. Beautiful. Yes. Aren't you gorgeous? Right. I'm going to take control of this because you take far. Oh, he's going for it. Oh! Oh, you see that? He's like whacking it against the floor. That was amazing. That was a completely different animation to a Carnotaurus. So maybe every dinosaur has its own unique like kill animation. Right. Allosaurs, how are you doing? Condition reported. Right, missing forest. It seems to be missing a fair few things though. Uh yeah, I thought so. Oh, it's missing prey. It actually wants prey. Right. Also water. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. Oh, it's a tough balance. Yep, and finally, just pray. Okay, you don't want to eat from a feeder. <laughs> well, let me just take care of that then. I'll save some money. Oh, we're so close. We've got Trodons coming in now. Uh, what did these guys get on with? Comes in this Ceratosaurus. Metric at the Saurus. <gasps> but they need forest. So they, these two could get on together. I didn't realize that. Uh, likes Allosaurus. Ooh, okay. You guys could be together, I guess. But you might need more forest. Because you need a lot of forest, so they need a bigger enclosure. What I could do, I guess, is join these guys up over this way? Yeah, sort of. Let's do that. And then what we'll do is we'll just delete this bit in between. Ha <laughs> ha! And there you go. You can go say hello to each other. But we're getting something else in. And I need to finish this enclosure before they get it. Is the fence still being built? Uh, partially? But uh, yeah, it's almost done. Right, Alberta saw. Transportation there you go. Perform a status check on this bad boy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. So, who, who's getting a phone call? Who's Who's getting a phone call? Right. The stakes are as high Ian as they've Malcolm. ever been, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. We are on the cusp of achieving a new relationship with the dinosaurs. Forging revolutionary ideas because we're able to better understand the past. And boy, do we now. We're trying to put those accidents behind us. Well, if I may, um, there are no accidents. Simply undiscovered reasons. Our mistake, humanity's mistake, is believing that we want to know the truth when the lie is more than enough to sustain us. These genetically manufactured dinosaurs, they're as real as we chose to make What's them. What's on low health? We've Three on low health. What's going on? Dogs, cats, and livestock for years. Why? Not for what they need, but for what we want. Oh, oh God! Yeah. And <laughs> that's what we're doing now. You tell me. Any contact, no matter how slight and reasoned, introduces change. Is that not correct, Doctor Dua? Enlighten us. For now, it's what we have to accept. Our job, my job, is to make sure these animals have the best care. What? As for the rest, let come what may. Yes. 
Yes, how wonderfully uh, uh, chaotic of you. They need food? What? There's food. There's more food. Why? So you're starving. Don't die, guys. Please. Don't die. Eat the food. Oh, do they not want prey? They just want to eat from this. Yes, yes. Sorry, I almost killed all of you. <laughs> oh, let's make them, like, have a look. Oh, that's awesome. Who, who was the, who's the leader of this? Is there a pack leader? You, you, oh, you are. Are you dying? You have 46% health, you're sleeping. You should probably wake up or else you might die. Oh God, injury. Oh, is that the Alberta saw? Uh, oh God. Major injury, delivered to facility. All righty. Time to get you sedated, mate. What did you get on with? Carnotaurus and Compies. Oh, okay. You get on with Carnotaurus. Good job I didn't put you in with anything then. So was there anything that we could have gotten? It was the eight Trodon. So the eight Trodon we didn't get and the Harara saw we didn't get. So there is a little bit of, you know, customizability you could get. They do give you a, a wide area to play around in, like in here. But you don't, I guess you don't really need to, to be that big, do you? Enter the new era. Even on the islands, we never created something this... This perfect. Beautiful! Well, considering we can't let them run free and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living, it's as perfect as Getting can be. Bright. I guess. We should be happy. You but should be. Are we happy? Sorta? Okay, something's bothering you and it's not me. No. So, what gives? <laughs> no, just not gonna tell this you. This park. This isn't the dinosaur's final stop, is it? No, of course it's not. How could it be? It's too dangerous to have these animals this close to civilization. They go, we go. You mean that, Owen? You realize what you're saying? We're a team. I know you, Claire. You won't turn your back on them. Which is a bad idea, by the way. Never, never do that. And... And neither can I. These animals are I feel like this is the mission chemistry. done. I'm just, just I'm linking you, all the dinosaurs everyone. together. That's something the Earth needs to come to terms with. Yeah, we either make this planet right or the dinosaurs. They'll make it theirs. You're right, Claire. You're you know when you're right, you're right. That's why we're gonna release all these dinosaurs together to attack each other. There are we do it. Yeah, there we go. We've left California, and all the dinosaurs can go kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> was it really so much of a campaign? Yeah, Yosemite. <laughs> From the language of the Miwok tribe, it means the valley Ooh, of the pillars. Fitting, isn't it? The strong prey on the weak. The hunter and the hunted constantly optimizing their size, their appearance, their I don't strength, remember seeing that. Their vision, their speed. The mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival. Huh. So beautiful. Is a never ending arms race that continues to this day. That's life. It embraces change. And now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No, no, the question is. Will they stay? So is this what we're looking at Dominion, maybe? I, I, I like, it, I'm getting vibes where they really, they want to continue the story. And that is literally what Dominion is. But because Dominion was delayed a whole year, it's like, well, we can't really do it. <laughs> I bet you next year when Dominion comes out, the campaign will continue. Because it feels like it's going that way and it's hinting towards something. But because this is coming out before, uh, well done on completing campaign mode. Why not try Chaos Theory? Jurassic Park next. Help Dr. John Hammond realize his dream of Jurassic Park while learning the fundamentals of creating a safe and profitable dinosaur park for your guests. So that is it. The campaign is actually fairly underwhelming, I want to say. It's, it's not so much a campaign as it is just capture the dinosaurs. It's like a, it's a what if. 
in a way. Um, it's not what we came to expect from Jurassic World Evolution 1, which I'm kind of glad it's not like, because that one was very slow and it was doing the same thing over and over again, but with tiny changes like, eh, the map's a little bit small, eh, there's a little bit more storms. Whereas that felt as though, you know, we, we cover the carnivores, we cover the flyers, we didn't do the aquatics, which is interesting, because we'll probably do that in the Jurassic World, the Chaos Theory for the what if for Jurassic World. Um, Oh, look, they've got diamonds on them. Why do they have diamonds on them? That That's weird. Go to Isosaur to capture the dinosaurs that Mizrani needs to start the construction in Jurassic World. Oh, interesting. Build Jurassic World with Simon Mizrani. Succeed where Jurassic Park couldn't. Just be careful what you create. And the final one, return to Isosaur and, and the remnants of Jurassic World. Mount Cybo lays dormant. Help Claire and the DPG to give the dinosaurs their freedom. So, interesting. The only what if... If I'm going to be honest, is San Diego. Jurassic Park is make Jurassic Park, it seems. Uh, Lost World is, you know, the what if, what, you know, we made San Diego thing. Isla Sauna is a, the in-between uh, Jurassic Park 3 and Jurassic World, I guess. Uh, Jurassic World is make Jurassic World. And Fallen Kingdom is Fallen Kingdom, which is just rescue the dinosaurs onto Sanctuary Island. And of course, Dominion will be down here. So maybe we won't get the campaign continue but it'll just be this? That kind of seems a bit odd. I don't know. I was expect. Uh, well, I don't. I mean, we haven't even tried the uh, these these guys, um, and I'm assuming Jurassic Park's quite easy. I mean, maybe these diamonds. If we click that. Oh God! We're we enjoy this video. Leave a like. Tell me your thoughts on what campaign mode was. Um, we'll continue with this and just see how you know in detail or in depth you know you are to make a park and. It seems like it's two out of five difficulties, so it's going to be a bit holdy handy. We'll see. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.